guys welcome back to another vlog i've been trying to figure out how to style these front pieces of my hair i burnt them off when i decided to try to dye my hair at home which you should never do and i like them being shorter but for some reason like i just have such a hard time and the only way i like them is if like it's like a half up like clip back situation but welcome back to another vlog. I am really excited about this vlog because a few weeks ago I went to the Hamptons with, I went to New York and the Hamptons with Nikki for her birthday. And so I vlogged a little bit there. I'm going to show you guys that and some, just some footage from that. It was such a nice relaxing time. It was expensive, um, but everyone always talks about it. So I was so excited to like finally see it. I did all of like the round swamp farm and like all of the classic Hamptons things. I didn't go to the beach though because the weather wasn't nice. What is up with this weather? I did pick up a few new things for that little trip, um, which I'm going to show you guys. And I, they're so freaking nice. Oh, I want to tell you guys know that we are officially offering pickup on CNC and I'm so excited about that because shipping is really expensive and we always get asked if there's a pickup option and now there is a pickup option and of course when you come um, pick up your order you can shop more in store. Everyone who came last Friday, tomorrow's going to be the second time that we do it, was like I cannot believe how much more beautiful your jewelry is in person and that is a hill I'm willing to die on because it is so hard to capture jewelry and like I say all the time, I would much rather you guys be like happier and more impressed when you see the jewelry in person. But anyways, if you live in Montreal, we are in the West Island area and you want to save some money and pick up your order in store and look around, then we do offer that on Friday. But yeah, let's get into the little haul. So I'm super excited that this portion of today's video is in collaboration with Farfetch. I'm such a fan of their site and the products that they offer. They, they offer items from over 3,000 brands ranging from really, really luxury to a little bit more affordable. I've done hauls with them on my channel before. They have, the reason why I love Farfetch so much, they really offer things that are like hard to get on other sites that are sold out. When I when Uggs were really hard to get, the only place I could get them was on Farfetch. They always have the best selection of goods. Um, I got all of these little Lasha mini bags, all my little mini bags from there. So they really just have like the biggest, best selection of items and their shipping, I'm not kidding you, takes like no time at all. Um, and they also have really good deals on there. I remember for Etan's Christmas present, I got his present for like an insanely low price because they were having an insanely good discount. I got him like a bathing suit, an all of our brown bathing suit, and I basically it was basically free because of how good the discount was the first thing i picked up is this sweater it is from the brand sporty and rich i had to pick up i wear brown sweatshirts like five out of seven days a week i'm literally just wearing it with sweatpants right now i love the combination of brown and charcoal and they have sets they do have like matching sweatpants they have leggings they have workout sets and so because i wear a brown sweater so often i was like let me invest in a really good brown sweater that's super cute and so it is so freaking comfortable the quality is so nice i swear i've not taken this off since i got it it also matches my water bottle that i got on my little trip which you will see and then i also got a sporty and rich cap that just looks like this i don't wear a baseball cap set often but i wanted one that was lighter and neutral and this is like a beigey color with kind of like a deep navy farfetch is the place that introduced me to my favorite bathing suit brand hunza g they are i didn't even know what the brand was i was just shopping on their website and i came across this super cute bathing suit and it was hunza g and since then they are literally the only bathing suits i can wear they are the most comfortable the most flattering they do go on sale on farfetch quite often so make sure you check that out and keep an eye out for when they do that's normally when like i'll snag them but i picked up this this one in this beautiful olive green color I have like a Kelly green one which I wore all the time last summer but this is like so much more me this summer and then these are the bottoms they go really nice and high-waisted or you can wear them low-waisted they are one size fits all but they are so stretchy if you are shopping for them though I would be careful with the lighter colors because I did find that they 
were a little bit see-through but this one is not see-through at all the next pair of shoes i picked up are these mules from amina muadi as soon as i saw them i was like you are coming home with me i obviously wore them while i was away i actually wore it with a really nice brown linen reformation dress which i had also gotten on farfetch and it was just the perfect heel so i had a similar pair of shoes like this with the champagne heel this champagne heel is really really good in the summertime because if you have to walk on grass or if you have to walk on like something that's not solid ground this gives you a lot more stability your heel is not going to sink into the grass and these aren't that high so they're pretty comfortable but i had gotten a kind of like dupe of these and they were so hard to walk in because the heel was literally like a weight weighing you down it was like a workout walking but i'm happy to report that these were actually super super comfortable and they're just so flattering the way the toe is shaped and like i said the heel i did get these in a size 36 and a half and i feel like i could have sized up to a size 37 i could have sized up a full size these were great i'm so happy about these i love a dark brown shoe i mean everything in my closet is basically brown so the fact that i'm only getting a brown mule now is kind of shocking but i was waiting for the perfect ones and these are perfect and lastly you guys know i am obsessed with chloe slides i r.i.p to them um like a year and a half ago yeah, a year and a half ago, I picked up fluffy Chloe slides from Farfetch and I wore them all the time. They were like my most worn slides. I wore them literally like as slippers. I wore them out with casual outfits, with jeans. And then I was going to my boyfriend's house and somewhere in between there, I lost one. I would almost rather just lose both of them because now I have one and like what am I supposed to do? I can't just wear one on one foot so when I was shopping on Farfetch I would always check out the Chloe size because there's always new ones and I have been obsessed with denim shoes recently and look at these freaking shoes they are absolutely perfect so anyways those are the things i picked up from farfetch i wore a lot of them like i said on my little vacation and i can attest that they were all great purchases and i will leave them all linked down below if you, have, if you haven't checked out farfetch before you definitely need to i love wearing crew necks a little bit dressed up not totally dressed up with like you know sky high pair of heels but with some gold jewelry and a cute pair of jeans and then a pair of little mules um but you could also totally throw this on with a pair of biker shorts i threw them on with a pair of reformation jeans which i just picked up they are so comfortable so flattering you can see i literally just picked them up um and i feel like i would totally wear this just for like a casual little dinner and i still feel really cute here i paired the sweater with just a simple pair of linen pants i mean there's just so many ways you can wear this sweater i just tied it and tucked it in in the back you're not limited to just wearing crew necks with sweatpants you can tuck them in you can tie them you can wear a sports bra under and tuck it into that so that's why i feel okay splurging on crew neck because i know i'll be able to wear it so many different ways really dressed up and then also very casual these are what the mules look like on like i said they're so comfortable cutest little champagne heel the color brown is perfect it's not too eggplanty it's not too orangey it is literally the perfect chocolate brown here i just paired it with some beige linen pants and i feel like the dark denim paired with the beige looks so cute perfect for summer perfect for a vacation where are we going we are going to new york city for nikki's birthday trip it's tomorrow you're gonna be 12. <laughs> I'm taking my kid on vacation. She's actually going to be 28 years old. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. 28. She's going to be three years older than me for a month. I'm real excited. We have so many fun things planned. We're currently sitting at the border. In a bit of a line. Oh, look at that. Perfect. There's a bit of a line, but that's okay. We are going to stop in Plattsburgh for some coffee and then Albany, we're gonna stop. Is it Albany or Albany? I say Albany, but I think you could say either. We're gonna stop in Albany at Target because we don't have Target in Canada. Every time I talk about that, uh, how we don't have that, a lot of you guys are surprised, but no, we do not. But I kind of like it like that because then when we go, it's kind of like a fun experience, you know? Yeah, I do feel that way. And so then we're gonna hit up the city. We're gonna spend a night in the city and then we're gonna go into the Hamptons tomorrow on your B day. Early morning run to the Hamptons. Hopefully, there's not a lot of traffic. 
There won't be because it's a Thursday and Jen is getting a magnolia cake. I wonder if they have any fun puddings. Uh, their, their new pudding doesn't seem that good. It's a peach. Oh. But they do apparently have banana pudding cookies. Did you, was it you that said you had tried the carrot cake pudding? And how was it? It was like a 15 on 10. We should try and make it. It was amazing. Not as good as banana, because banana is just supreme. But the carrot cake one, last time I was in the city, I had it. And it was really good. Me and Jenna shared like a mini one, because we both really wanted to taste it. It was... Oh, the pudding is just amazing. Superb. I think we're going to the beach. <laughs> is the water blue, though, or is it like brown? It's like pretty blue. It's like pretty, pretty blue, but it's... Like, I'm do so you excited. go in the water? Yeah. Are there sharks? No. That looks like the best. Oh, oh my gosh. That looks like the best caramel macchiato we've ever had. We made it to Albany and the first stop is Target. I just found these shoes. <gasps> cute Aren't turn. Cute? Ooh, yeah. We should ask for a cup with ice. Um, like, do they have Starbucks? Well, we're going to McDonald's to get the Grimace. Oh, right, right. <gasps> Tony, we found oh, Liquid Death. We found Kim Aid. Is I can't believe it. Didn't it just launch like literally yesterday? Yes, but I'm looking for Alex Earl's drink. I don't. I think it might only be at Walmart. Oh. We're gonna have to go to the supplement department because she also has a pre-workout. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, America's freaking cool. Look at those. This is a great Target, everyone. Recommend. I recommend it. They had one left. We've been searching for this. For years. <laughs> and what did we just say? Tony was like, I think they don't have Kristen S at Target anymore, and we look. And they had one left. Stay tuned for the, the first review. I can't wait. So we just had Burger Fi. Oops. <laughs> Our favorite song. We just had Burger Fi, and we are going to try the Kimade. It was Tony's first Burger Fi experience. And it was very good, but I'm very full. Okay. Kim Aid. Kim Aid, it's the pink lemonade, right? Yeah. Alani. Because it wasn't cold. Ooh, it's a pretty color. It's baby pink. Ooh, mine fits perfectly, you. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, it smells so it good. It smells really good. It smells this really good. This is what good. it looks like. Mmm. It's light, because I find usually the Alani drinks are like overly sweet. Yeah. It's, it's good. Really good. Stay tuned for Grimace. We're just over halfway, actually. This is mine, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pop my thing in. Are you so worried? Yeah, I don't want your cooties. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna go get Grimace. <laughs> Nikki's been waiting for this moment. I'm not kidding you for like <laughs> a, a year. Well, you know what? Those mean, mean people in McDonald's do, decided they weren't gonna give the Grimace shake a chance in Canada. You know what they did give us though? A stale caramel popcorn McFlurry <laughs> that you still said you liked, but which broke a tooth in my mouth. <laughs> Freaking out. Have you seen it? Anyone see a, a, seen a smile that big on someone about a <laughs> shake? A berry and shake? I don't even like shakes. Like that's the other thing. Like, have you ever seen me order a shake? But why do you want this so bad? Is it apparently so good? I don't know. It's just been mesmerizing to me. The line's a bit long. Okay. Should I go in? Like, I'm gonna I don't go know. in. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got at Target. I didn't do a full Target run. We're gonna do that on the way back. But I picked up the Kristen S two inch hair curling iron, which reminds me of one I had from T3. It is literally gigantic. Um, but I'm so intrigued to give like a blowout look. Right now I use a 1.5, so this is huge. I got these fo laser focus, sink fast, and stay on task gummies. Apparently, apparently these are like taking Adderall. I don't know. That's what I've heard. These are the best bloat supplements you will ever try. And I've tried all of them because I'm always bloated. I got this Physician's Formula Butter Glow Liquid Bronzer. Nikki said this is supposed to be like a combination of Say and the Debronzy in One, which is the combo that I mix which is the combo that I mix on my face before I, I ever put foundation on. So, let's see. Oh, can you even see? So it's like brown. Ooh, actually, 
Okay, it's not as shimmery, but it is really nice and glowy. I can see how that would be really nice under foundation. I'll have to try it. Ooh, that is actually really nice. Look at this pretty bracelet combo I have on. The brown face and a turquoise. I never know how to say that. Turquoise? Turquoise? Anyways. I got Advil because I kind of have a headache. It's discontinued. Are you kidding? <laughs> Until when? Forever. What? Are you kidding? No. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. Oh, I'm so sad for you. Well, you know what? Maybe in New I said in all locations, and she said, yeah, but you know what? Maybe in the city tonight, I can order one. Okay, I'm going to quickly just tell them the rest of that. <laughs> the sleep gum, sleep supplement. Which we will be trying today. And the this pink corrector. I like the one from, what is it, Maybelline? Mm -hmm. um, and then we got this book. Nikki also got a book, so maybe <laughs> once we're done, we can switch. Anyways, that's really sad. I'm sorry. Did Nikki. you put this on? Yeah. Wow, I Isn't got one that really too. Really nice. Um, I'm sorry about that, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, I should put it on my phone. Yeah, because we we gotta listen to our audiobook. Now it's smooth sailing all the way to the big city. I'm trying the new gigantic curling iron. It's so hard to control, but this is the finished product. It looks like just like effortless, you know. Well, you're not giving us a good glimpse at it. So I'm scared to show you what it really looks like. It looks pretty. I was going to tell them about our night, but I don't think we should. We are packing up and heading out to the Hamptons today. I'm super excited. We had a little bit of a later night than I was anticipating. How about you? Definitely. I'm, t I'm wearing this little set. This linen set is from... Indigo. This tank top is from Aritzia. And you know, you know. Oh, guys! Mm. It's Mickey's birthday today! <laughs> How did I bury the lead on that one? <laughs> and look at the view. Aww, uh, what are you wearing, Nick? I'm wearing a little fitness dress. Your from, birthday dress? From Airy. Just for the car ride. It's real cute. Jenna, what are you wearing? Gosh, so many things. I'm wearing airy joggers. <laughs> Topo Chico. <laughs> Topo Chico. The floor is also wearing Topo Chico. <laughs> I'm wearing an H&M tank, a Ritzia cropped sweatshirt. Show us the bag. We've got Bays Weekender. Mm -hmm. Is that a CNC clip? It is a CNC clip. <laughs> Death. And we've got the Loewe Flamingo Extra Large Tote for all the work. Okay. Let's excuse my chewing. <laughs> <laughs> we got, what's our grocery haul? Pesto hummus, the best chicken tenders ever, pigs in a blanket, chicken salad, potato salad, chicken marsala, quinoa and lentil meatballs. These are crazy. We just got home. We did some damage. We went to, uh, re. we went to Round Swamp and picked up some food that we're gonna have for dinner, but I wanna show you guys ooh, everything that I picked up. Okay, so first we went to TJ Maxx and I picked up some things. A cute little makeup bag filled with sponges. It has more. lemons because I go through sponges. I use like one a week. I don't know why. I always lose them. Okay, this is so freaking cute. It's a chocolate brown cup. I love these cups. Bunch fits in. That's really freaking cute. Okay, so then I got this dress from House of Harlow. It's just like a browny, taupey color, silky, flowy. I haven't tried it on. Well, I did try it on, but I didn't see myself in it. But they said it was cute. Then I got Bag Bomb. And I also got this dress, which I did not try on. But it's in like this bubblegummy pink color. Try for us. Um, like I'm really bloated right now. Ties around, goes on. But I like that it kind of like flows. I'll try it later in the vid. But right now I could... Can't be bold that. I also got um, some more gummy bears. Which okay, are, the live taste test, live taste test. I, you can taste it, I don't, I don't feel like it. Tony had about 10 before and her mouth went on fire. It was, it was burning. They're, they're really good. good. This is what they look like. They're real good. They have like a coating of shimoy. I've, I've had other shimoy candies and those are the best. They're soft because they're soft. Mm -hmm. Anyways, mm -hmm. then we went to Ulta and this is where we did the real damage. I think it's super um, cool curling iron that I'm going to test out for you guys. I got two curling irons so far on this trip. Hot Tools Pro Artist. It curls your hair with air. 
And when he tried it on me in the store, and it actually worked really well. I just got some um, new face razors because I have a mustache and I need to shave off. I finally got my hands on the Squirt Pumping Gloss Stick in Brown. It's in my purse. It's very good. I love those Was sticks. digging through the drawers for those. CC Plus Nude Glow. I need a new foundation. Like I can't need a hole in the head, but whatever. It looked really good. <laughs> I got the Morphe Coconut Bliss Setting Spray. Should I Try it. Try it. Spray it. Because I forgot all my setting sprays. And I remember loving the Morphe one, and it smells like coconut. Give me a good Oh. Ooh. Do you like some? I'm sure. <laughs> no, I'm a coconut. <laughs> then I only got two more things. I know you guys are waiting for Nikki's haul. The gloss bomb in hot chocolate, which has been sold out at home for literally years. I tried Jenna's this morning. It was beautiful. It's like the most beautiful, beautiful chocolate brown color. And oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't had a gloss bomb in like years, but they used to be my fave. And then lastly, I got the this SPF. I don't know why I got this because we have no sun at home. It's because Jenna said this has been sold out everywhere. It's I'm a sucker for packaging. I've said it once, I've said it twice, and I'll say it again. <laughs> Um, okay, that's all I picked up. Wanna take it away, Nikki? Well, I just want to try this for everyone because I got the squirt. Max Squirt Gloss, what's it called? Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick in hot pink. <laughs> and I really want to try it. So, the- I can't see you. Well, I'm trying it and then I'll show them. Mmm, <laughs> hold on, I need a little more. What, Tony? I'm not doing anything. How does it look? Ooh, Ooh that's good. That's, that's good. good. Maracuja. Oh, Oh no, it's here. These are my favorite things ever. But I got the color Honeysuckle because I saw, Car not Carly Weinstein, someone else used it in this color and I love it. I got this because Remy Bader told me to. The Chafe Stick? The Chafe Stick from Mega Babe. It's the best. It's not working. Jenna also says it's the best. Yeah, okay. And Tony put me on, so she should be putting you on too. Those are the best eyelashes on the planet. The merch store. So I got this for Allie because she loves a, a, a zip sweater. Quarter zip. Quarter zip. Then I got myself one in, this is the Superior Sweater. Um, I want to put this on immediately. But it's the Superior Sweater material. Oh. This is Miss Jenna Levy. Hello, <laughs> queens and kings. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I like literally took over your house. This is her house. I feel like a lot of us got duplicate things. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see this girly, girly pop. She's plumping, she's brown. It's brown. It's like a pinky brown though. Oh yeah. I don't know how well you can see it in this light, but. Oh yeah, Jenna. It's really something. Ooh, ooh. She's cute. Oh, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I got, what is this, the Briogeo? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be gentle, be kind. It's like the apple shampoo conditioner. Honestly, I got it because it looks like a green juice. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite liquid liner of all time is the e.l.f. one. It's like $3, but the brush is so, like, it's like a paintbrush. It's so thin. Jenna's queen of smoky eye. She really And is. it, like, flicks so well. Mm. I feel like a lot of the times liquid liners are, like, foamy tips, and I don't like that because you can't really... Get the flick. A new MAC blush. And they were out of Gingerly, but they had Melba, which they is- looks very similar. Very, Melba's very amazing. close. Yeah, they're pretty close. And then my last thing that I got is the new, it's not really that new anymore, but the Lemmy Purrs. Had to try them. They're delicious. I love them. You literally look like the Hobbit. I'm hoping and praying this works. What did you do? I thought you were supposed to like braid it. Good morning. This is the result of the curls. They look good. The top pieces fell out, so this part is not looking so cute. But yeah, we're going to head to the beach, get some bagels, and then chill by the pool. They're so little and cute. Shoes, Zara, linen fit, Play. Instagram, my mom bought it. Feeling suit? 
Abercrombie, sunglasses, Prada, <laughs> Nikki's, Nikki's bag. Tony's. Tony's bag. <laughs> so I showed a little bit of Jenna's house on my story yesterday and you guys freaked out so I thought I would give you, show you guys a little bit more. This is literally like a dream so I can understand why you guys were freaking. Ooh. There's a bagel. Jenna's toasting her bagel. She wanted the Montreal bagel. We got New York bagels. Anyways, this is the kitchen. It's stunning. It's really beautiful. This, Jenna, did you design this kitchen? I did. Beautiful. I'm obsessed. Like, there's just you no know, words to describe how stunning it is. It's even more stunning in person. And then, look at this pantry. Like, it is coming. I love that this marble flows into the pantry. The fridge. Bonus fridge. Bonus fridge. There's a little coffee area. Obsessed. Coffee. And then here is like the dining room area. And just, like I love these windows here. They just done it, truly. That's the pool where we're going right now. Windows. Let's give a full shot of the living room. Well, this, what did we do here? We play chess. Nikki beat me. She's a, a, an amazing chess player. So we're here in Lane's beautiful kitchen. We'll show you that tomorrow. And she's making a sun-dried tomato pesto. Pesto? Yes. And she's gonna show you. When you cook the pasta, save a cup of the water that you boiled it in, all right? Because you're gonna use that to- uh, For your sauce. Yeah, to smooth out the sauce. So you can use any brand you want, a jar of, of sun-dried tomatoes. Where do you get yours? Um, wherever I can find it. Okay. Up here in the Hamptons. Slim pickings, so I think I think this might have come from Florida, to be honest. Okay, just put it in a food processor, and then you can put um, about one chopped minced garlic. I I had a jar of already minced garlic, so that's about a half a teaspoon. Okay, I have fresh basil. Look how beautiful from my garden. <laughs> I love summertime. And you That's can, a lot you, of basil. You can use as much or as little as you have. It makes a little more sauce that way. So you just, you don't have, this is why it's so easy because you really barely have to measure. All right, and then we just. Part way through, I, I do take a little, little uh, spoon to get it all in there, right? Can you smell it? Yeah, I could smell it. Mm. It smells amazing. It's your like three ingredient pesto. This couldn't be easier, right? Where's the big bowl from, Lane? This was from Target. Ooh. The Magnolia whatever collection from Joanna Gaines. Joanna Gaines. Yes, you, I'm you channeling do. my Joanna Gaines right now and I'm liking it. Now you add a half a cup of grated Parmesan. Fresh. Whatever you have. Yes, of course it's fresh. <laughs> now you let it sit. When the pasta is ready, you add the pasta and just some of that reserved water. Pasta water. Yes, until it just looks right. So we'll we'll circle back when it's ready. Okay, incoming. Some pasta. What's your pre preferred noodle shape? Well, I like cut pasta because it's got a better chance of not falling off the fork and making it into my husband's mouth. So, I always go for cut pasta. But you can use any kind that you like. All right, now, here's the reserve pasta water. Mm -hmm. And we just add some and stir. It smells amazing, Lane. Okay. Wow. Now, we had salad for lunch because I do usually make a salad. But tonight, because the tomatoes are so beautiful in my garden, <laughs> We're having some bruschetta and sun-dried tomato pesto pasta. My mom used to tell me that you you could feed someone dog food if you put a little garnish on it. Now, Aww. I never tried doing that, but I took it to heart. Um, the other thing, people ask me why my food tastes so good. And it's because it's made with love. Aww. It really is. 
Always a little garnish. Beautiful. Bon appetit. A vision in white. <laughs> Nikki, what are we doing? We watched The Summer I Turned Pretty. Give your review of the episode that we just watched. <laughs> that was like the worst episode ever, but I feel like Jenny Han is like a genius and did that on purpose for some reason. Don't you think she would release it more than that one shitty episode? I don't know what she was trying to do, but now we're watching the new episode of And Just Like That. We're having a very chill evening, which we needed. because chill had, Friday. You know, we had a really crazy night the other night that we're still recovering from. <laughs> 